here we are, perfect. And yeah, give me a clue on how much higher. Since my own sights, my time, but this is a particular, particular big one, and I'm only wearing my trainers today, so I have to watch out for bottom lips. So I uh, almost lost one of my sketches. Oh, my oh, well, but yeah, it was um, you know inhabited up until 2000 year ago, year ago, years ago. I don't know. And of course, what happened? The Romans come along. That looks nice. We want that, and of course as Romans do, with superior numbers, technology, infrastructure. Wow! It's the sun! Oh, I don't know if you can just about see it. Oh, no, you can't. I'm going to around. Right. There you go. That pushes up into a really, really grainy texture. Come on, come back out. There you are. That is a red kite, and they're meant to be uh, one of the uh, rarest birds in the uh, British Isles. Or well, it was at certain points. But yeah, I'm lucky to see them. And I've seen uh, a few of them now. I think I've seen about half a dozen as I've been driving around. It can't be the same one just following me. I really like your orange jacket. But yeah, I can see how high these walls really do go and how much of a singular hill you're in amongst. So yeah, back to the Romans. The Romans come along. They nicked it, and then they turned around to enjoy now part of Britannia, which is, you know, British Roman, basically. So I didn't know how, how they came about for it. And then many, many years later, we got more of Britannia. You get it from the idea of where it's supposed to be, the idea of the You know, it's still walking through the same. With the same amount of wind. Damn you, wind. I know these uh, history bits are not as fun to watch as me driving down some mad road trying to kill myself off or eating some food or cooking food or trying food or explaining about interesting people I'd meet or doing room tours and all the rest of it that I do but history, geology and everything like that is what goes my mind that's where I like really, really getting it interesting you get a buzzer Hopefully, hopefully, get out the wind and see the rest of the rampart walls. Oh, come on, give me a break, wind. Really? Right, it should be alright. Success, probably. Try and stay out the wind. Yeah, anyway, now head over the hills. Come on, wind. There we go. Ah, that's it. You think you get out of it and then all of a sudden, you know? We're going to curve around because that's what it does. But yeah, it is the best. So even if we've got past this bit, we've still got all of that bit to get through. And not that yet. That'd be rough. Not too sure if they have bone arrows back there for I suppose. I think they might have. And you finally get there. Farmers, smithy workers, you know, 
wives, your milkers, maidens, milk maidens, that's the one. You know, kids running around and everything like that. So then, centurions. I don't know if they made that sound. Uh, they were soldiers as well, so. of it, that sun's going to disappear. many times that I've done that at all and that's including on campsites as well. Right, let's go up to this prominence. There we can see all over the place including back to Bethlehem and uh, I will take a photo of it and put it up. It is actually called Bethlehem. It even comes across as Bethlehem on Google Maps when it's directing me. And here we are at the top of this. Another one out of breath. Thank you. 